might get some things both ends of the floor. Yeah, um, I really think it was just big. Um, Farrakhan, especially down the shot or the stretch, started hitting shots, and sometimes a player gets hot. Um, we were up by 20 with about 12, 10 minutes left, and um, we just didn't step on their throats when we should have. So um, just simple for things that we got to fix, like uh, just switching and stuff of that nature. But um, uh, it's just good to get a dub, first dub. So we'll take it. Jeff? Uh, I mean, we still got work to do. Uh, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, our last practice on Sunday, when we should our last scrimmage, little little setup, uh, we, we shot the same same percentage, four for twenty four. Coach told us you gotta get in the gym, and, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna keep grinding. We're gonna get back in the gym tomorrow. Trace, you talked about yesterday how you were in the best shape of your life. Got mm -hmm. a double double tonight. Is that something that you can see yourself doing night in and night out this season? Yeah, um, that's one of the big things that Woody told me coming in, Coach Woodson. Um, he said that I'm going to have to be one of the leaders on our team. I'm going to have to bring it every night because if I don't bring it, then we're not going to go. So um, I'm going to take that and I'm, I'm going to do what I can. Um, but I felt like I played pretty good. Um, missed some free throws, but at the same time, um, they're not always going to fall. But um, I think I played the whole second half, so that's just another thing with my condition and just be able to stay on the floor because my team needs me. Xavier, I think Noah Farrakhan had zero points in the first half and then I think 18 or so in the second half. What do you feel like the difference was between the first half and the second half? Was was he doing something different or was it feel like the way that you guys were guarding him? Uh, I mean, I mean five. He, I think he shot five for 21. So I mean, he just heated heat it up. I mean, if you take 21 shots, I hope you're gonna make one. So that's what he did. For both of you guys, could you talk a little bit about the over here? <laughs> about the atmosphere tonight of playing in front of people again and also what it was like to give Coach Woodson the first victory at IU for him. Uh, most definitely. I'm um, just having the fans back. I know um, dang near more than half of our team hasn't ever experienced a assembly hall crowd. So just being able to be in front of people, in front of fans again, um, it really helped us. And I think they got them out of their rhythm, too, in certain stages in the game, like when we needed a bucket or needed to stop, they started getting loud. So it's something that's going to help us. And there are six men. So um, thank you uh, to the fans, honestly. Okay, Mike and Tom. Trace, uh, uh, Farrakhan cuts it to one, and then you really demanded the ball there with two minutes to go. Mm -hmm. uh, was that something maybe you should have done a little bit earlier, and then you found race twice in a row there? Most definitely. I think in the first half, I was a little bit stagnant. Uh, I was letting it come to me a little bit and not just uh, trying to take over. I feel like in the second half, uh, from the get-go, Coach Woody and uh, Coach Yon in the locker room told me that you got to start getting rolling. So that's what I did. And um, there, especially down the stretch, I was trying to look for my teammates or get an easy bucket. So uh, I saw a race twice, and um, he did what he had to do to get um, the necessary shots to score. Okay, Tom and Rick. Trace that one play where you had the, the block on one end, sprinted down, and then had the dunk. Is that sort of a good symbol for uh, for that extra conditioning and that extra that work you've put in to, you know, to, to, to do something on both ends and get down the floor and kind of beat a couple of guys down? Most definitely. Um, that's just a big thing. Those are called energy plays for our team, uh, especially when you're at home, um, just getting a block and then seeing X run. And uh, I know he's going to throw it up to me if I get open. So just sprinting the floor as hard as I can and just doing that and trying to get the crowd and everyone amped up. And uh, I thought he made a great pass. And um, the rest is the rest, I guess. So, But yeah, I feel like my condition has really helped with that. For either one of you guys, I mean, you took 24 of your 62 field goal attempts from three. Is that... Is that what you guys wanted? Is that what Coach Woodson wanted you guys to do? Uh, I mean, we have, we have shooters. Uh, Parker, Parker, Parker Stewart is a great shooter. Uh, Miller Cobb is a great shooter. Uh, we just got to find them shots. Uh, every other guard come off the bench, even Scoop, uh, Rob, and, and everybody come off the bench. He's, he's a good shooter. We just got to knock down shots. OK, last question, Kevin. Yeah, Xavier, you had three early turnovers. How did you kind of settle in after that uh, stretch? You went to the bench, and then you came back in. And what, what kind of calmed you down, you think? Uh, I mean, just just my coach told me, told me stop being so uh, so 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 cool with the ball. Uh, I mean, that's what I did. And in, in, in the in the second half, when when I went back in, I, I, that's what I did. I, I just played my game and, and just went to, went to work. All right, guys. Thank you, coach.